TFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 202 points. You had the Nasdaq off 84, S&Ps down 22. Uh, that's a 1.1% downdraft in the Nasdaq, 8 tenths of 1% in the Dow, and uh, 9 tenths of 1% in the S&P. Gold contract, gold contract down $1.10, trading 1286. Bottom line, it's pretty amazing that gold actually uh, even held that line, folks. Gold tested its low, 1284, rejected the low, uh, and that is not the, the, the big news. The big news is that the, the dollar broke topside, and uh, bottom line is that uh, gold didn't get hit. In fact, the GDX is up uh, 27 cents, trading uh, 2179. Silver also didn't get whacked. Silver's down 5 cents, $15, 3 cents an ounce. The light sweet crude up 33 cents, $56.55 a barrel. Notes and bonds, they're the story once again. You know, the 10 year right now, we're getting close to the lows. Uh, 2.641. Uh, the lows for the uh, t last 12 months, folks, is 2.553. The high is 3.2. We are way away from that. And what you had out here this morning is that you had uh, Mario Draghi uh, come out, European Central Bank, saying that their growth numbers are getting cut back pretty dramatically, 1.7 to 1.1. And what that did in the European market, of course, has brought those rates uh, down fast and furious. Germany right now is six one hundredths of one uh, percent on a 10 year, folks. So that baby uh, doesn't have much to turn to go into a negative aspect. Switzerland is uh, still in negative, negative rates, big time. Uh, France is at four tenths of one percent, four tenths of one percent. Uh, Italy, who basically we know is a great place to go, but broke 2.4 percent. So Italy is cheaper on this 10 year than we are. We're at 2.6. That, what does that mean? That means that uh, we're going to go one way, folks, and that one way uh, is less expensive yields, higher prices inside the note and bond market. King dollar, that, that decisive break topside. Uh, bottom line, you know, we uh, up uh, almost a full penny, uh, 846 ticks. Did take away, uh, did take out the uh, highs of the, the last three months. That being said, you know, we, we haven't taken them out. And the continuous contract of the DXY laying right next to them. I expect they'll spike them tomorrow. Stay right there, folks. Going to be coming back numbers after the close, including Costco. To recap out here, we had the Dow Industrials down 200, NASDAQ off 84, S&P down 21. Come right back.